May the gods watch over your battles, friend. No doubt requesting to garrison his men in my castle. How many times must I deny him? Well, out with it! I see. Give the papers to my steward. Don't be daft. Proventus is my eyes. Just give me the letter. I presume once I have it, I can do as I please with it? Good. Hmm. These are interesting reports. Proventus, what do you make of all this? If Ulfric were to attack Whiterun... As in all things, Lord, caution. I urge us to wait and see. Absurd that you can't get good sweet words. Pray wait. In the skeever hole of a city. I'm of a mind with Ireleth. It's time to act. You plan to march on Windhelm? I'm not a fool, Proventus. I mean, it's time to challenge Ulfric to face me as a man. Or to declare his intentions. He'll do no such thing. He was rather straightforward with Torig. Torig? He simply walked up to the boy and murdered him. That boy was High King of Skyrim. I'm not the High King. But neither am I a boy. If Ulfric wants to challenge my rule in the old way, let him. Though I suspect he'll prefer to send his storm cloaks to do it for him. True. He's already proven his personal strength. Now he seeks to prove his armies. Then might I urge you to consider General Tullius's request? I mean, if you are bent on offending Jarl Ulfric. Ulfric is the one who has offended. But Proventus has a point. Ulfric has made it clear. In his mind, to refuse his claim is to side with the Empire. And what harm is there in letting a few legionnaires die in place of your own men? It seems cowardly. Was it cowardly, then, to accept the white gold concordat? This again? That was different. Was I given a chance to object to the terms of the treaty? No. The Jarls weren't asked. We were told. And we had to like it. The chests of gold didn't hurt. Damn it! This isn't about gold! It's time to decide. Lord, wait. Let us see if Ulfric is serious. Oh, he's serious. But so am I. Finally. You there. I have a message for you to deliver to our friend, the esteemed Jarl of Windhelm. Deliver this axe to Ulfric Stormcloak. How long have you been in Skyrim? Yes, give the man my axe. If he returns it to you, it means we have business to settle. If he keeps it, then we are at peace. Men who understand one another need not waste words. There are but a few simple truths behind one warrior giving another his axe. Ulfric will know my meaning. True, he's a dangerous and bloodthirsty man, but he's also a Nord that honors our traditions. Keep your wits about you and you won't be harmed. And then get back here, because if Ulfric isn't bluffing, I'll need every able body to defend Whiterun. Good. Good. Proventus, bring me my pen and the good parchment. Now, if Are we writing mind, a letter, Lord? A city to... Yes. The general colors. I need to make a few things clear.
Every night, I walk around a gray quarter and let them grayskins know what I think of them. It's no secret the Aretino boy is doing some good. Balgriff won't give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers yes. from Solomon. Yes, make it quick. I'm a the busy Empire's man. putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. Is that so? I've been wondering when he'd come around. Oh, what's this? Ah, you're quite brave to carry such a message. It's a pity you've chosen the wrong side. You can return this axe to the man who sent it, and tell him he should prepare to entertain visitors. I expect a great deal of excitement in the city of Whiterun in the near future. I have shown the people that when our Jarls drink the Empire's milk, it makes us weak. I must now show them the path that will lead us back to our strength. There is no progress without sacrifice. No wheat without threshing the chaff. The Empire and the Jarls who back them must be swept away. The people demand it. I demand it. Oh? True, I may meet my end in a dark alley with a dagger in my back. But the people have seen the truth, and they will not back down. Sooner than you think. And what would you... Sir, I... I have a... <sighs> Take a moment to breathe, soldier. You've returned with my axe. I knew that would be his response. As soon as you left, I sent word to General Tullius, who's been kind enough to lend us some of his troops and Legate Scipius here. Let Ulfric try to make it past our combined forces. I'll turn you back over to your legion. Legate Scipius will have use for you. Gods be with us all. Ulfric Stormcloak's head on a pike. Do you think Ulfric really cares about Skyrim's independence or the welfare of its people? I promise you, he doesn't. He's nothing more than a barbarian renegade. 
whose lust for power has cost the lives of countless innocents. Mutual advantage. Any fool can see that. For centuries, we have benefited from the Empire's protection and prosperous trade with the South. In exchange, the people of Cyrodiil sleep peacefully, knowing their northern border is guarded by the fiercest warriors in all Tamriel. Now, if you don't mind, sir, I've got a city to keep. Free. Fuck the the walls are strong. Sorry. 